Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is MinuteMath, and today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms, and we have to expand each logarithm. So, if I was given this logarithm, the log of 6 divided by 11 all to the 5th power, okay? Well, one thing we know about exponents, right, is that that exponent up there to the 5th power can be rewritten out front to be 5 times the log. 5 times the log of 6 divided by 11. So the 5 really can come out front there. Okay? Now, when we expand this, when we expand this, right, uh, we want to keep breaking it down more. And the division inside of that logarithm, we know we can expand the subtraction. So the 5 comes out, okay? There's a few ways to see this. So I'm going to write it like this. It's 5 really times this whole thing, right? Log of 6 divided by 11. So if we expand that out, it's really the log of 6 minus the log of 11. Okay? So we have 5 times the parentheses or brackets here. Log of 6 minus the log of 11. Well, that 5 we should really distribute to both parts. That's 5 log of 6 minus 5 log of 11. And there we go. Our final answer here is being 5 log of 6 minus 5 log of 11. Make sure two key parts here, just the subtraction matches up with that division, and that exponent of 5 came out front and made sure it go to both parts. But either way, our final answer is right here, 5 log of 6 minus 5 log of 11. So let's recap. We're given log of 6 divided by 11 all to the fifth power. Okay. Well, that fifth power can come out front while we're by our log rules, right? Uh, 5 can just come out right in front here. And then 6 to 5, 11 is subtraction when we expand it. So log of 6 minus log of 11. I put the 5 on the outside because 5 is to be multiplied to everything that encompasses there. And then we distribute the 5 across to both parts, giving us our final answer of 5 log 6 minus 5 log 11.